Baby's love, that noise. I am currently 26 weeks pregnant with my ninth baby, my sixth daughter, and uh, I have definitely done some shopping for this little girl. You might be thinking to yourself, why would you need to shop when you already have eight children and five girls? Here's a thing you need to know about me. When I'm done using something, I look for a new home for it as quickly as possible. I'm just not the kind of person that holds onto things for a long time, and baby clothes especially uh, are one of those things. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. It is so good to have you here. I'm a mom of eight, soon to be nine. Uh, I just love sharing with you guys all of the things that I have learned through nearly 18 years of motherhood and over 18 years of marriage and my faith walk. It is a joy for me. <laughs> to share with you the things that I've learned in hopes that they help you walk with more wisdom and joy and peace in your own life. Today, I'm sharing with you the things that I have purchased for this baby. There is no rhyme or reason to what I have happening here. I got like a laundry basket of stuff here. Oh, and there's another bag of stuff here. You're also gonna hear my thoughts on certain things about girls' baby clothes that drive me up the wall, drive me crazy. I'm gonna stop talking, let's just start going through stuff. Now this little outfit, this was actually a gift from a dear friend of mine. Is this not the sweetest? We have this little rabbit and bear onesie and pants. You can find rabbit and bear where I find it the most is like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It is quite literally one of my favorite baby clothing brands ever. Ever. I almost always love what Rabbit and Bear puts out. So that is something to keep an eye out for. I feel like their prices are fairly reasonable um, as far as baby clothes go, but everything is just so stinking cute. This is a three to six month size onesie and pants. So precious. Here's a thing you need to know about me. I don't like footed baby items. I like my baby's feet to be free. I want to, to be able to play with their toes and see their little feet. And yes, that's very important, but it's also really important for the baby to have the tactile experience of their toes free and touching the floor, touching your body, pushing off of things. It's very important. Keeping their feet covered all the time, not great, developmentally speaking. You go outside and it's freezing cold, yes, cover your baby's feet, absolutely. But in the house, as long as it's reasonably warm, if you're comfortable being barefoot, your baby, should definitely be barefoot. We can talk more about that in a different video if you would like. My philosophies and beliefs on baby's freedom of movement and all of those types of things. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh yes, I got some blankies for baby. Some of these don't have tags on them because I've already, well, you know, taken them out of their packaging and I'm showing them to you now. Um, these are super, super soft. Like I think they're that bamboo viscose material. Is that how you say that word? No, this, oh yeah, it's the rayon made from bamboo. Super soft blankies. I love these for loosely wrapping or if you wanna use them as a nursing cover, if you wanna lay them on the floor for baby to play on, fold them up and use them as burp cloths. It's always a good idea, I feel like, to have half a dozen or so lightweight blankets. I'm gonna have to be careful of my candle here. I'd have to blow that out so I have stacking space. But I have this really pretty light purple. I have this pink ribbed knit there. This little cream with little, this is basically just like a little pink leaf pattern. I don't know if you can see that. You'll have to forgive the lighting. I have no natural light today. It is so gray and overcast and Sunday is the only day I can film so I just have to make do and then this beautiful floral. I definitely lean heavily towards floral prints for my little girls. I just love florals. I love all things flowers. This little set, oh my goodness, how cute is this? This little romper here and the little dress and there's bloomers. Um, a friend of mine got this for a little girl um, from Costco. I think they were having like end of season clearance. And so she texted and she was like, um, I feel like you need this. And I was like, yes, yes, I absolutely do. So that'll be a great little summertime 
romper set for her. Guys, I want you to know I'm having a really hard time not saying her name. <laughs> I'm just remembering to say baby girl instead of her name. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm riding the struggle bus on that front. Uh, anyway, I picked up this little sleeper. I believe I got this on clearance. Yeah, I did at Target. This is the Little Planet Organic by Carter's. Oh, I have to sneeze. Carter's is another brand that I really, really like. They just fit my babies well. My babies tend to be longer than they are wide. <laughs> you know, some babies are chubby and shorter. Some babies are, you know, proportional all around. My babies tend to be fairly proportionate or long. Um, and I feel like Carter's is good for having extra length. Now, I know I said I prefer things with no feet. Absolutely. If baby's sleeping in a sleeper, I'm fine with having their feet covered. But I have very few actual footed sleepers because I find that my babies just pull their legs up inside of them anyway. And um, they don't really stay in the feet. Uh, what are you gonna do? It is what it is. I just thought this was so pretty. I loved the little birds and flowers and butterflies and a little snail. Anyway, a little snail in the back, so cute. And this is a three month size. I don't remember if I said this before. If I can link things for you, I will. This is one of those things. I wish that you were touching these little onesie, one piece jumpsuit romper thingy. I wish you could feel the material on these. They are, what are they? What is the material on these? Hold please. It's 96% Modal, 4% spandex. They are so soft and silky and just like, oh my word. So this is a newborn size. She will wear when she's tiny and squishy. I just love this, like, they remind me of Sherbert colors. The orangey coral and the raspberry. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, you need to touch them though. This is the Cloud Island brand from Le Target. Target and TJ Maxx are the places that I do the bulk of my baby clothes shopping. This little outfit. Oh, another newborn outfit. Oh, they're so tiny. They're so itty bitty. This is from Target as well. I just love the cream, little ribbed top and pants. And the little flowers, it's the same kind of raspberry and orange colored flowers on there. Oh. It's adorable, it's adorable. I don't always love t-shirts on babies because they tend to just ride up until they're at least crawling or walking. Sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes the cute factor overrides the practicality factor, you know? Once again, free the feetsies. I'm probably making some of you very nervous with my candle sitting here. Uh, these I picked up on an end of season sale on target.com. Um, for the summer. Oh, and I cannot wait to tell you why I love these so much. So there's two of them. I got these in three to six months size, um, a little yellow and lavender striped short sleeve romper. And this one with the little strawberries. I love it so much. Let me tell you why I love these. Little girl's clothing, baby girl's clothing, very often. And I'm sure I have things in here. Okay, here's one is for an example. Have ruffles added, which is fine, very sweet. Or they have a lot of like gathering, like oftentimes when you see baby girl rompers, like short sleeve rompers for summertime, the legs are gathered with elastic and ruffled, or there will be like elastic gathering under the bust line of baby clothes. I realized that, so, that this, I guess, is seen probably as like these sweet little touches. I'm more about comfort for my babies. I don't know about you, I am not a huge fan of having elastic squeezing my thigh. Not a big fan of it. But finding just basic t-shirt style, true short style rompers without a bunch of gathering, without a bunch of elastic and ruffles, so hard to find, so hard to find. So I had to snatch these up right away when I saw the sale price on these. I think they were like 30% off or something like that. I don't remember. I don't know if they still have them in stock. I will look for you. But that's my, my biggest gripe about baby girl clothes. It's easy to find adorable baby girl clothes. So easy. I will never argue that. However, the comfort and practicality, boys clothes definitely win in that department. Here's another one that I got for next summer into fall. Uh, this is a six to nine month size. I just loved this like pinky red 
with the lavendery little dots. And can you see like there's little palm trees scattered in the pattern. There's not a ton of them. And it comes with bloomers, little shorts to wear with the t-shirt, but it's just a regular t-shirt. And there's no elastic here. It's just a leg hole opening. So it won't squeeze your baby's thigh. It's elastic waist, that's fine. My babies tend to have slightly skinnier waists, so having some elastic in the waist is a good thing, and you would find that boys' clothes, girls' clothes, whatever. But I just love this little outfit. I cannot wait to see her in it. Because she, knowing my babies, if she falls in line with her siblings, she'll definitely be crawling around in this later this summer. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. Here's another newborn outfit. So precious. Oh, and that's why I loved that one. That's right. Okay, so we have some rib knit overalls and like this really pretty peachy corally color. Leans more towards the peach than the red. And then it's not a t-shirt underneath. T-shirts are especially difficult with overalls because they just ride up and they're so hard to get back down. When you put a t-shirt with pants, you can always tuck the top into the pants and the elastic will hold it up. But this is not a t-shirt. It is a onesie to go under the overalls. Perfect, perfect. Whoever has been designing and putting together these Target Girls collections recently, you've been doing a good job. Stellar work, my friend. Okay, we're, we're getting sort of somewhere. Okay, moving on. <laughs> There's, a, there's still a lot of stuff in this basket. I should probably talk faster. Okay, another rabbit and bear outfit. It's the rabbit and bear by Emily and Oliver. It's organic cotton, little sweatsuit outfit, short sleeve, long pants. I love the, I think these are peonies. I think when I bought it, I thought they were roses, but I'm pretty sure these are peonies on the, the, the print, the print. <laughs> It's a floral. I like florals. I just thought this was adorable. Like I said, rabbit and bear, they, everything they make, I tend to really like. As a matter of fact, oh no, this is not, oh yes it is. Another rabbit and bear. Now here's a good example. I showed you before the ruffles on this. This also has elasticized ruffled sleeves and, and pant legs. Uh, so it doesn't like fit my minor interruption. Betty needed to ask me a question which generally just means that she wants to know what I'm doing. So <laughs> anyway, got a little bit of gathering at the baby bust line. Not my ideal baby outfit, but I'm always gonna make exceptions. Like not everything has to fit all of my baby shopping ideals and rules, right? But it's still footless, which is important to me. But I just love the little farm animal print. It's just so adorable with the geese and the sheep, pigs, goats. Here's, oh, what size was that? That's a zero to three month size. And here is another newborn set. Target, I've been really pleased with my ability to find footless little zip up baby romper onesie outfit things. So these are ribbed, so stretchy, so soft. I love this like vintagey pale yellow gold. A little pale pink, you just can't go wrong, can't go wrong. And I have just a little decorative ruffle here, but it's not like obtrusive, you know, it's not big and too froofy. Just a sweet little detail. I love these. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for her to be here. I also love leopard print, which is why I broke one of my cardinal rules for this particular outfit. This little three month long sleeve kimono top and pants with the little kitties on the feet. It's like a plum and burgundy leopard print. Little matching baby hat. Oh my gosh, so stinking precious. And then this is another, this is a newborn. Oh, I love this set so much. Little pants, footless pants, a matching kimono t-shirt, and then the short sleeve onesie that says, I am so loved. And you can layer this up if baby needs to be warmer or just use it as two separate outfits. So I just love this. I love the colors on that. And it's a tiny floral print. Nothing's catching on fire, I promise. I'm being very mindful. Let's talk real quick about a diaper bag. I repurchased a style of diaper bag that I've had a couple of times, but as I said, I have a tendency to just give things away when I'm done with them. I don't hoard things, I don't hang on to them. 
Does it maybe cost me more money in the long term? Yes, maybe, but I also get a lot of hand-me-downs. I just, I like, I enjoy being generous. <laughs> I enjoy being generous and giving the things away that I'm not using. Also, it's a little bit selfish. I hate storing things. I don't like storing things, especially now. The house we live in was built uh, over a hundred years ago. There's no closets here. <laughs> I mean, we have a couple of closets. They're very tiny. We don't have storage space. So anyway, it's this backpack style of diaper bag that opens up nice and big. So yes, it is deep, which is generally not like the best thing but I tend to be pretty minimalist with the stuff that I carry for my babies anyway. So a bag like this is gonna get mostly used for longer outings. So like when we go to church and I'm gonna wanna make sure I have a couple changes of clothes just in case, extra diapers, extra wipes, um, things like that. So that I have a little bit more storage space. And then otherwise for the most part, my diaper bag just stays in the car and I take only what I need and put it in my regular purse and like take it into a store with me or, you know, things like that. So I just really enjoy these style of bags, the backpack style. You can also carry the handle from up top. This one's fun. It comes with a little pacifier pod. I just also really loved this deep green color. Love the little leather accents. Gold, gold is my metal of choice. Just thought this was a really beautiful bag. Um, and it is, like I said, I, I really like this backpack style for being able to carry what you need. Um, if you are a bottle user, it does have bottle pockets in the front. You could also use those for sippy cups and the like. I like this bag. It's a pretty bag. Okay. I had a kid interruption. I have to pull myself back together. I just showed you the diaper bag. Okay. We're moving on. Uh, this is already opened because Betty wanted to see what I got for baby sister. <laughs> um, it's just a wooden teething ring with a little crinkle rabbit ear attachment. It's got Minky on one side. It's just a nice little sensory toy teething ring. Babies love that noise. This was a gift from my mom, another muslin blanket. I just love this like cocoa-y purple color. Is that not so pretty? With the flowers, another flower print, and it did come with a little matching headband as well. Oh my gosh, though, this is another one of those like, yeah, it's the 70% bamboo, 30% cotton. Oh, it's like butter. It's so, so soft. So I think we're pretty well set on little blankets. We don't use a ton of them. Um, so we should be pretty well set there. Now I do have a couple of larger, fluffier blankets. Let me grab those. I actually originally bought this for Mabel, um, for our baby girl that we lost last fall and just tucked it away along with a few other things after we lost her. And now it's kind of perfect. Her baby sister, a little rainbow baby, will be using this rainbow blanket. I just love blankets like this that are a little bit heavier, but not too heavy, but they make great floor blankets or, you know, a blanket to throw over in the car seat if it's chilly out. Uh, just a, a, a nice little cozy, cozy blanket. It is really so, so soft, so soft. And the cotton is just this nice kind of mid-weight. That's really a lovely little blanket. These are some of my favorite. It's a faux barefoot dreams. It's that super squishy, I don't even know what the material is. What is the material? It's just a polyester. It's the way that it's made, it's not like chenille. It doesn't feel like that, but it sort of does. They're stretchy and squishy soft. Oh my gosh, it's leopard print. I love leopard print. It is one of my favorites, it's a little reversible. I have a throw blanket that matches this. I actually have a couple of them, but I have one in the same gray and cream and I have one <laughs> in like tan and brown. I love these, love, love, love these. This is another TJ Maxx find. Oh, it's just so squishy. Uh, I do have a package of Honest Company diapers in size one. They are opened only because I wanted to just look and see the tiny cuteness of this diaper. Um, Honest Company diapers run smaller than other brands, 
So that is something to bear in mind. I will buy one package of newborn size because I only use them until the umbilical stump falls off, which usually takes mm, three to seven days, and then move up to the size ones just for the length. I have thoughts and feelings about how baby diapers should fit. I believe they should fit belly button all the way up to parallel in the back, gets you the best coverage. If they don't go up to the belly button, they're not gonna do their job properly. They're gonna leak everywhere. But anyway, these were, <laughs> These were at TJ Maxx as well. And they're just, they're little jungle animals. Okay, a few more clothing items and then we're done. Mm, I love this one so much. I love it so much. It's got roses on it. And I think those are those daisies maybe. So soft, so adorable, zero to three month, footless, just a comfy, cozy little button up romper. So, so sweet. I'm only 26 weeks, I say only. I'm over halfway, but that means I still have 14 weeks until I get to squeeze my baby. And that feels like a really, a really long time away <laughs> right now. Oh, Target got me with this one the other day. They were putting out Valentine's Day things. Let's talk about that for a second. This was prior to Thanksgiving, okay? Prior to Thanksgiving, they were putting out Valentine's Day apparel. Not even Christmas, Valentine's Day. Anyway, super soft, super sweet, rib knit, pants with little hearts, and just the tiniest little like bell bottom flare. How cute is that? So cute. And then just a little, little t-shirt, long sleeve shirt to go over the top. So precious. That's a newborn size. Even though I know my babies don't need newborn stuff for long, I am drawn in by the tiny adorableness that is newborn baby clothes. I can't help myself. They're so cute and tiny. This one got me. Oh, this is another brand. This is a really good one. If you feel like baby clothes, especially if you're having a boy and you don't like some of the baby clothes that are easier to find at stores with like dinosaurs and trucks and things like that. If you want something that's a little bit more simple and understated, the Modern Moments brand by Gerber is really, really good. It's really, really good. Um, I was doing some grocery shopping at Walmart the other day and this just jumped out at me. Once again, it meets all the criteria. No feet, no weird ruffles or elastic. I love the little decorative wooden buttons here. It's like a waffle mitt. It's just, it's perfection. This is another zero to three month. Oh, this is another Modern Moments outfit. Um, another zero to three month Modern Moments. Another floral, like almost everything here has flowers of some sort on it. I just love this goldy yellow color. It's got kind of a vintage feel to me, like a vintage floral feel once again. One piece, no feet, just cozy, so cozy. Oh, I can't wait to snuggle her. We're gonna have to have like daily Instagram fashion shows for all of this stuff. Uh, this little onesie is something that her big sister Lucy found for her. It says, I love my big sister to the moon and back. So Lucy got that little onesie for her. I think she got that on Timu. I did buy an outfit on Timu. Uh, as well for her that I'm about to show you because I just needed to see like what the quality was like. This is another um, bleh, bigger size outfit that I got for the fall. How fun is this though? Leopard print bell bottoms. So cute. And a little sweatshirt that says, hello, pumpkin. Like, are you kidding me? That is stinking adorable. Oh my gosh, I think that was the last thing. We did it. We made it through. I almost broke my picture, but I didn't catch anything on fire. So we're gonna call that a win. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I showed you all of the little outfits and blinkies that I've bought for baby girl. I shall reward you with a little bump shot. Oh, my goodness, she's getting so big. Until next time, be blessed, be a blessing. And remember that you are very, very loved.